right? The news driving this Trump trial is simple. You don't need to be a news junkie or a lawyer or a psychologist to grasp what's driving the trial of defendant Trump and why prosecutors, according to many headlines, have made headway with the jury in this case. The reason, and we saw this in court yesterday, is receipts. This trial, which is about many different issues and questions about witness credibility and political intrigue and all kinds of stuff, is currently working against Trump as a defendant because there are just so many receipts. The receipts include the onslaught of emails and secret texts and NDAs. And I can tell you, we also saw along with the jury, actual, literal receipts, the legal kind, written contracts of this whole sordid scheme to buy silence of women who had allegations against Trump during the campaign season and the allegations that he and allies directly tried to hide in that campaign year. It's a pile of paperwork that is essentially burying defendant Trump's main defenses. Now remember, in the first week, Trump's lawyers detailed these certain Trump defenses. They were basically factual denials. And I'm reminding you what they said. It's very simple. The first two are these type of factual denials that nothing happened. He didn't do it. Or if anything happened, his lawyer, Cohen, did it. Well, these receipts are shredding that kind of denial. And that really helps the DA's case. It also does something else strategic. And I've told you, we're going to kind of live through this trial together, the first ever historic trial of a former president. And we're going to learn things as we go. So what we heard a month back about how it was going to go was a, a kind of projection based on some evidence. But now we're actually seeing how it works. And some of it's just interesting, even though the defendant's preserved innocent, even though he could still skate on a mistrial, on a hung jury. But I can tell you legally, the DA is making headway with that jury that I watched yesterday. And that's because they're doing something strategic. I'll tell you right now what it is. The way they're trying this case is helping the jury see the facts, the core facts that Trump had this history, that he made these sort of purchases of silence, and then he did it for campaign related reasons. They're making the jury see those kind of facts as arguably proven as true before they even hear from these star witnesses that we are told are so important. Big names that even if you don't follow politics, most people now have heard of, like Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels. Why? Why would you put your star that late? Well, we are seeing the strategic reason. If those witnesses for the jury end up feeling more like an afterthought, if they're just kind of the proverbial icing on this layer cake of receipts, then the DA has a strategy to basically show jurors, we already proved this, right? And you saw the receipts and you saw all the double connections. You saw the lawyer on one side and the other side admit the same thing and you saw the receipt for it and you saw the NDA for it and you saw that Trump paid for it. So their argument in plain English to the jury is it doesn't even matter if Trump's defense lawyer attacks some of those witnesses. It doesn't matter because you already knew what happened. It doesn't matter to the core case, which the receipts already confirmed is what the DA argues. I am dark. Brandon.